Well, welcome back to another episode of Adventures in Modeling. I'm the Junk Man, and let's get started. As you can see, we've progressed a lot farther. We got the wheels assembled, got them lightly weathered with a little bit of dirt on, on them. Uh, we'll dust some more dusty colors on those later. We also got some dirt inside the rims a little bit, um, a little bit of grease, but it'll, that'll be kind of covered up by the uh, hubcaps that I will have to make. Uh, as you can see, we got the fuel tank installed just on the passenger side because the driver's side on the real thing uh, had to be removed to install the hydraulic oil tank for the Landall tilt bed and traveling axle trailer that we pull with it, and I'll have to build that, and I'll show you that later. So I had to just mount with a couple uh, sticks of styrene the other air tank for the other side. We're going to plumb this a little bit later. Uh, you'll see that too. But uh, this is where we're at. We've got some initial weathering. It's, uh, it's looking pretty good, uh, looking fairly realistic. There's just some detail stuff that we'll go back with a brush uh, a little bit later as I get more installed. Well, as I mentioned before, this is the uh, little hydraulic oil tank box that I've started on using uh, some uh, thin styrene. I uh, cut it out and uh, made, you know, made a box in the approximate shape of the real one uh, to the approximate scale, taking measurements off the real one. Uh, you can see the uh, picture of what the real one looks like right here. Um, that's what I'm kind of replicating. Well, as you can see, here's a close-up of the little box I made, and as you can see, it's pretty... I overcut it a little bit because I really want to smooth these edges. Uh, I let it dry overnight, used my uh, uh, modeling sol solvent, and uh, what we're going to do, I just took a sticky back disc here, um, stuck it to my workbench here, and just going to use that to smooth down the edges and sides. Um, this is about the easiest way I can think of to sort of do this, just turn it on each side. This is about a 320 grid. I could probably start with like a 220, but I want to just go slow because it's easy to remove material. It's hard to add it back. Um, and then if I have to, I can add just a teeny bit of filler if I need to. But I think I can do it just by um, sanding it down flush like this. My workbench here is relatively flat, so I'm going to get a pretty good surface. So I'm going to do this for a while, and then we'll show you the results. Well, while our hydraulic oil tank is uh, drying over here from painting before we can uh, move along with it, I need to modify the cab. The cab that comes with this is kind of the, the deluxe sleeper or the extended sleeper uh, with the walkout sleeper, part of the, I think, the VIT or very important trucker uh, package where... Um, replicating the cab is the little bit earlier which just has the roll down window and the short had the shorter sleeper uh, it was removed because uh, our truck needed to be more of a day cab uh, configuration but that means I have to modify the cab because it's got the big walkout sleeper and if you can kind of see there is a, uh, a ridge here that connects up to the sleeper that we will not be building for this kit. And what I need to do is first uh, take it down with uh, my Dremel tool and then sand it flat, make an insert panel, cut the window the appropriate size, and uh, to convert this to a day cab. Well, we have the hydraulic oil tank all finished up. Well, not finished up, but we have uh, the pump uh, face installed, box painted. It's all sanded up. Looks real nice. Uh, did it in the gloss black, so it'll kind of stand out. Also, uh, we've got the uh, cab uh, panel uh, to fill this big gap in here. Uh, put in, I used a piece of styrene plastic, uh, cut it to shape sanded it down so it fit in there just perfectly so it closes that off uh, what we'll have to do is here's the interior um, of course it uh, doesn't have the window in it fits in there just like this just perfectly so I have to fit it in there and um, 
and then mark and measure and then uh, I'll cut through both pieces to cut the window and then it, it should look pretty realistic. So anyway, until next time, uh, keep watching, like, like the Facebook page, subscribe here to this video and uh, so you can see all the other updates and uh, we'll keep moving along with this project. I can't wait to see it done.